Hello, Weird Nation, and welcome back to another speed build here on the Feed the Weird channel. As promised on Saturday, I have finally uploaded the additional part to the Country Craftsman speed build. I know it's been a while in the making, and I apologize for not getting this to you sooner. But as you know, I am a wedding planner and designer, so things did come up this summer, and it did prevent me from uploading some videos here on the YouTube channel. But I am back, and I'm going to try even harder to be a little bit more consistent when it comes to my videos so um we already finished the exterior of the house and also the first floor so this um the rest of the remainder of the build will be left to i believe the second floor with three bedrooms i think no 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 it was four bedrooms yes <laughs> with four bedrooms and also the patio area I'm not exactly sure if I did that in the last part I haven't watched the speed build <laughs> at all so um, I don't really know where I left off <laughs> in terms of any of the structure whatsoever so you have to forgive me because I'm slightly lost as to where I left off at but anyways um I did want to create a Jack and Jill type bathroom for both um, the two kids rooms or the two teenagers rooms so they would have to share a bathroom and um, I have a guest bedroom on the other side and of course a massive master bath and bedroom and I also wanted to create a play area which you will see soon but right now I'm just trying to get the layout and make sure I have all the space that I need and it was kind of complicated because <laughs> I, I should have I don't know I kind of just built this house just randomly and I um I don't know yeah I just built it randomly I didn't really have a layout in mind I was just thinking of what would be in a family house <laughs> because um, when I was growing up my house we only had three bedrooms and one bathroom and it was a two-story home with a basement it wasn't as massive as this house so filling it with stuff was kind of hard for me because I just didn't grow up with all that stuff but yeah I tried to make it as homey as possible and I also used a lot of color so you can be proud of me in that instance as well as you can see the master bedroom does have a balcony so they can actually just walk out there and enjoy the balcony for themselves and they kind of have I feel like they have a bit of a big um I feel like they have a big bedroom to me and I kept even though I'm using color they're kind of a neutral color I use like a blue and orange and also natural wood colors because I don't know I just like the way that looked uh, what else are we doing? <laughs> I'm trying to remember exactly what I did with this build because <laughs> I feel like I built this house maybe fucking how long ago did I build this house? Uh, I think I built it a good three months ago, so I can't technically remember exactly what's included in it. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy because hey you built this so you should know what's exactly in there but at the same time I'm just like uh, nope <laughs> don't remember at all still trying to figure that one out but yeah um that's a little how can I call it I guess it's a little foyer and I think this is me thinking yeah I had to think a lot <laughs> for the second floor because it wasn't as much space as I perceived it to be and I think that's where I got hung up on a lot of things as to placement and stuff like that um, and just making room for everything because I wanted a full master bath and they had to have a tub and shower all separated out and stuff and yeah and they have to get through the door as well <laughs> so maybe I should have player tested this I don't know if they'll be able to get through the door yeah <laughs> so you let me know you let me know if you when you download this house can you get through the door on the master bath because I'm not exactly sure if you can or not <laughs> because I just realized I put the tub kind of close to that um, kind of close to the to the door and I'm not sure <laughs> well yeah definitely let me know but otherwise I feel like even though it's kind of narrow it is really spacious and you have like the double sink and like you said you have like the tub and you have a separate shower so I, I think it went I think it went really good 
um, size wise so and that's what I wanted to achieve with this house I wanted it to be a nice size and just be accommodating to everybody and I also wanted it to have a walk-in closet as well so I think this is what I'm getting into now um, and putting these things in here I think I delete one of them I'm not exactly sure and I feel a sneeze coming on Ooh, okay so if I disappear for like five seconds <laughs> it's me trying to sneeze and I hate when this happens because I like to sneeze I mean I don't like to sneeze I don't like my heart stopping <laughs> but I like to get the sneeze out I don't like when sneezes linger it kind of pisses me off <laughs> but hopefully it'll go away oh my god I feel it and it just won't go away and it's really annoying ah <laughs> but yeah I'm making a walk-in closet now and as you can see I deleted one of the um, one of the cabinets because I realized when I put the chair there they're probably not gonna be able to use it that's something else you'll probably need to play or test as well to see if you can actually use the vanity <laughs> in the walk-in closet because I'm not exactly sure <laughs> so yeah if anyone downloads this house please please let me know if you are able to access the tub or at least get into the bathroom and also the uh, the little walk-in closet I'm not sure <laughs> but here is the little patio area oh, that we just literally skip right over <laughs> for the master bedroom and now we're gonna go into the guest bedroom as you can see here and I think I wanted to go with kind of like a oh my god this sneeze is right there <sighs> it just won't come out <laughs> but yeah I wanted to go with I'm like so distracted by the sneeze but I wanted to go with kind of a green neutral palette with this room as well and um, make sure it was pretty comfy in there um, you should be able to access everything in this room um, but yeah I designed this room pretty quickly because um, I already knew exactly what I had in mind for it and uh, I don't know I just it went by quick <laughs> that's the only thing I can say uh, yeah and I can't really remember what did I put carpet in here that's random because I did I put hardwood floors and everything else oh Chris what were you doing I feel like I had hardwood in the master bed I don't know I may have <laughs> but yeah that room's done and now um this was the most conflicting of the two um of the rooms because I wanted a Jack and Jill um a Jack and Jill bathroom but I also wanted a playroom that was open to the hallway kind of so I ended up putting another narrow bathroom onto the side so I think it still worked out it's still spacious and they have all the necessities that they need in there so I'm not too bummed out about it at all and it, I like the way that the um, the sink fat 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 wow <laughs> fit into the little <laughs> cranny of the house uh, so I was okay with that and now we're gonna move on to a I would say maybe this could be a teen or a child's room because I believe the children can actually use this room um, not this room they can use that they can use that bed I'm not sure I haven't had enough children in any of my let's plays to know exactly what they can sleep on <laughs> so the only thing I don't like about this room, and I'm remembering it now in my head, I kind of had like a lapse in what to actually put in here as far as kitty stuff. Um, and usually I don't make kid rooms in my builds because I know when I'm looking for a build and if a house says five bedrooms, I automatically think it's just for all adults. And then when I get in there, it's like nothing but kitty stuff. It really irks me. So I tend not to make too much kitty rooms unless I know it's um, specifically for my let's play and then I'll make the house for that but in most of my builds I really don't put any like kid stuff in here so this is kind of my first kids room design and I feel like I failed <laughs> a little bit I feel like I failed a little bit I didn't know exactly what to put in it and I wanted and I think another reason why I failed is that I just don't know how to design for a boy 
<laughs> it's just like, what? Besides blue, what else do you do for a boy? I mean, we already have a green room for the guest room, and <laughs> I don't want to make another green room. And just watch how quickly this girl's room is going to go by. <laughs> it's going to go by so fast <laughs> because I, it's just easier for some reason to create a girl's room instead of a boy's room. And I think it goes back to also whenever you have to dress a boy. <laughs> it's just hard to dress a boy. And it's hard to decorate a room for a boy. But for a girl, it's like you have all of these options. So now I kind of understand where my brother is coming from whenever he says, oh, you always have options <laughs> as far as clothes are concerned and stuff. I'm like, oh, 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 oh you, you kind of do have a point now, bro. But yeah. <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do as far as a dusk area was concerned. And at first I was going to put two chairs in there, but that seemed a little bit redundant. So, um, yeah, and I definitely wanted some windows in there because a bedroom without a window seems a little weird to me. So, um, yeah. But it was relatively easy to build this girl's room too. It's just that little boy's room, I feel like I could have done a little bit better job on that. Um, but that's just me trying. I have to experiment with... Um, actually creating rooms for boys <laughs> or creating rooms for children in general because I just don't know what to put in there but um I was feeling like the room was getting a little bit too kiddish and I didn't want that so I ended up changing out that little bookcase and put in these other little end tables and of course they always like their posters and I went with the Harry Potter one because that one was really cool <laughs> But again, I think finding art for a teen's room or even a child's room is always a difficulty for me because I don't know exactly. Again, I'm just trying to build a generic house that everybody can live in and be okay in unless I know the characters and know what they like. <laughs> it's really hard to design like a kid's room because it's like, oh god, what do I put in here? I don't know what they like. So I just ended up just putting all of these decor items. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to fill out everything and make sure everything <laughs> is filled to the brim with lots of stuff, even though they probably don't even need this and it's going to up the price of the lot, but whatever, I did it anyway. <laughs> So I think this is the last room we have to design now, and this is kind of like the playroom. Um, uh, how can I how can I put it? It's like the playroom, but also like a little study area that adults can go to as well. Um, but yeah, did I say how much I love this flooring? I love this hardwood flooring. It's really nice. <laughs> I really like it. But yeah, it's kind of like a study area, a play area. Just a communal area besides for the limby, limmy, limmy, wow. <laughs> besides for the living room, it's like a nice little area for your sims to go and just hang out with each other and catch up and stuff like that. So they can go in there and do homework, play board games. I think it would be even nice if you put one of those, what is it? Uh, one of those little, those game tables in there. I think that would be a really cool idea. But yeah, we are officially finished furnishing the inside so we're gonna go outside and make some improvements out there and I'm sorry if my voice is kind of wonky I am I wouldn't say I'm sick but I feel like a cold is coming on <laughs> like I feel like it's coming <laughs> and I can't get rid of it right now so I apologize if my voice kind of sounds wonky but here I am trying to landscape and do something <laughs> out here and it's I don't know if it worked or not I don't know. And I feel like I deleted these trees. I did. <laughs> I just feel like I deleted a lot of things. And I, I had more higher expectations as to what it was supposed to look like, the outside. But I realized I didn't have that much of a space in the backyard. So I kind of just plopped things and tried to make a nice attempt at <laughs> landscaping. And I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh my god. Athena. Sorry, my cat is being weird. <laughs> uh, cat. When you have cats, they just like to get into anything and then you have to treat them like children and say, hey, you need to get off this. <laughs> but yeah, we are almost finished. I was just looking for some lights for the back just to make sure it's nicely lit. 
Um, because that's something that I found in whenever... Oh, we're going to the screenshots. But that's something when I find whenever your sims are in the backyard, their face is kind of dark out and I don't like it. But yeah, we're going to go into lots of screenshots because in the previous video for Country Craftsman, I didn't show any pictures. So we're going to go through the whole house now. Hope you're excited. But yeah, here is the front of the house. I feel like it did an okay job on landscaping. I kind of like it. But here we are into the living room. Again, I made it, wanted to be very comfy and cozy and just have a nice little homey vibe to it. And I feel like I achieved that. <laughs> and it was really good lighting. I think I caught this in the afternoon. But yeah, it was really good lighting for pictures. Um, in the dining room area, it's not technically, oh, we do have a dining room. Never mind. See, I'm remembering my build now. <laughs> but here's the dining room. But the other one is like a breakfast nook, so I don't think they can actually eat at the table. But they can sit at the bench and kind of like look like they're eating at the table. <laughs> but yeah. Here's a little home office. Oh, and here is a little breakfast nook that I was telling you about. So yeah, they won't actually eat at the table, but at the table, I don't know. You'll see when you download this house. But here is downstairs guest bedroom. If you have like grandma and grandpa coming over, I think this is a good place. And here is the powder room that's next to the front door. And then we're gonna get into the outside a little bit. And sorry if these pictures are a little sporadic. <laughs> but yeah, here is the master bedroom right here, the master bath. And then we're just gonna go into all the other See, yeah, picture is sporadic. <laughs> I don't know why we went back down to the dining room. But anyways, if you want to see the first part of this um, speed build, click on the annotation at the end of this video to go automatically to that. And as always, um, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like. Alrighty, guys. Until next time, keep feeding your weird. See ya.